Hey, welcome to Geekamag and today we're going to talk about the annoying 0x800 F4294 error that prevents you from opening your Windows 11 camera and using it. This problem can be caused due to various factors including outdated or corrupt camera drivers, incorrect privacy settings, malware infections and more. In this video, we're going to talk about some troubleshooting steps that you can follow to potentially resolve the problem. First of all, if you're using a laptop, most of them allow you to turn your camera on or off using physical buttons. So to make sure that the camera is turned on, you can pause the video and follow the applicable steps that are currently being shown on your screen. Now if this doesn't fix the issue, let's try updating, uninstalling and reinstalling the camera drivers. For that, let's search device manager and open it. Now search for your camera device. If you're using the integrated webcam on your laptop, go to the camera section and select it. In my case, I'm using an external webcam, so I'll find that particular device. Now right click and press update driver. Search automatically for drivers and this should update the driver. If it says that you already have the latest drivers, close the dialog box. Right click on the device again and click uninstall device. After this, restart your PC and it should automatically install the latest driver for your webcam. Alternatively, you can also go to the device manufacturer's website and download the latest camera driver or use handy tools like Outby Driver Updater to do the job. Now your Windows 11 privacy settings could also be blocking access to your camera. To check that, open the Settings app, go to Privacy and Security, Scroll down until you find the App Permission section and then click on Camera. Now on the right, find the Camera Access toggle. Make sure that this setting is turned on. Thankfully, Windows 11 comes with a built-in troubleshooter that can help you fix problems with the Camera app. Go to the search icon and type Troubleshoot Other Problems and open the setting that appears in the search. Scroll down to the Camera Troubleshooter and then click Run. Follow the on-screen instructions and let the troubleshooter find and resolve the issue. If you're still facing the issue, let's try resetting the camera app for a potential solution. Go to the search icon and type Camera. Now find the App Settings option and click it. Scroll to the Reset section and click the Reset button. Now there's a registry hack that can also help you with this problem. Go to search, type Reg Edit and open Registry Editor. Here in the computer folder, go to H key Local Machine, Software, WOW6432 Node, Microsoft, Windows Media Foundation and then go to Platform. Once you're at the correct destination, right click on the empty area and select New DWORD 32-bit value. Name it Enable Frame Server Mode in the exact manner that is being shown on the screen. Double click it and now set its value data to 0. Ensure that the base is set to hexadecimal and click OK to save the changes. Close the registry editor to apply the changes. What the setting does is that it limits the access to the camera to only one application at a time. This might help fix certain camera issues or conflicts. Certain antivirus programs come with camera shields like features that block access to the camera. Now the steps to turn off such features are different for each antivirus. If you have such a program running, go to its settings and then try to find something related to camera protection and disable the shield. If none of these have worked yet, let's try to reinstall the camera application. For that, we first need to uninstall it. Make sure you have packed up all the important data or settings associated with the camera app. Now type PowerShell in the search bar. 
under the Windows PowerShell results, click on Run as Administrator. Click Yes to continue and in the PowerShell window, type the following command. You can also copy and paste it from our article on the same topic that is linked in the description. Now hit Enter to start the uninstall process. After this, let's reinstall the camera app. Open the Microsoft Store, click on the search icon and type Camera. When the same app from Microsoft appears in the search results, click to open it and then click on the Get button. Let the app install and see if it fixes the issue. If it doesn't, try to enable the camera right from the BIOS. Typically, this feature is found in business class PCs running Windows 10. This allows users to enable or disable the camera or webcam system-wide. So, you can refer to your manufacturer's official documentation for specific instructions. You can also find more details about this in our article about this topic which is linked in the description. At last, if nothing has worked, scan your computer for malware by using free antivirus programs like Malwarebytes. We hope this video helped you resolve the issue. If it did, then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.